Okay, I want to show how you can fix up a template and how you can start your character model. So, uh, start with I've got a side view of my character in place. I want to put the front view in. I want to walk through that. First thing I'll do name the material. Second, go to my diffuse um, map. Now, you could do it here under maps, diffuse color, and hit none, or you can go to diffuse and hit the button on the right. Double click bitmap, go find it and apply it to the selected object. So I've got it selected and show map in viewport. Looks good. Let's uh, close this and I want to show you something else. I'm going to get rid of, well, let's, uh, let's get rid of the UVW map the right way by hitting the trash can. See what happens when I get rid of the UVW map? I want to talk about this. Sometimes you're pulling your material and it's sideways, you're not sure what to do. You can go to the drop down list, UVW map, and let me just uh, readjust this a little bit. UVW map, and uh, didn't fix it, did it? But you can look under the UVW map, and there's a gizmo. Go to the gizmo, rotate it. Since I have Angular Snap Toggle turned on, I can rotate this, rotate this exactly 90 degrees. Then I can go way down here to alignment, set my alignment to fit, and you can resize the plane, you can refit, you can move the UVW map around. Um, and what I've done too, I want to show one more thing here. Um, let's go to plane and just move this. What if you want to line these things up? What I like to do um, right on the zero zero point. Let me just move them both so you can see this. So, uh, what you should do is go to your 3D snap tool, right click it, make sure it's set to grid points and vertex, close it, turn it turn it on, and then press and drag until it snaps. And press and drag near the vertex until it snaps to the grid point. And close that, or turn it off because that 3D snap tool will be obnoxious otherwise. I can grab both these guys now, right click them, properties, make them uh, frozen and make sure so show frozen in gray is turned off and we'll hit OK that way you can see them but you can't pick them and then I'll go to a uh, box and we'll just start off uh, this model let's say in the front view and turn off that grid and I'm just going to move this so it looks good and uh, let's just look at the, a couple of different views here. There's the right side view. I think the right side view works better than the left side view in this this case where you've got two views to work from. And um, of course my character is facing the left which kind of speaks to having the right side view visible also. Anyway, we'll go to uh, have this thing and play with it until it looks like it fits in pretty good. And I want that to be see-through so I can see what I'm doing. I want to see the template, so I'll right-click on that box and go to see-through. And um, click, uh, let's say, the top of this. In fact, I'll just right-click this, go to uh, Convert to, Editable Poly, click the top, and bevel it out. and take the height down a little bit until it looks like um, let's go to the front view here so we can see that again and I kind of I'm kind of moving a little too fast here because this this movie was too big last time so I'm trying to cut out things where I can so I'm gonna hit OK here and go to vertex and just move these guys down so you can go into vertex mode if you have to and tweak things and then maybe move both of these uh, up and then go here to the top and do another bevel and turn it around again now we're beveling in and come up and build the shoulders and uh, Okay, so say OK. Extrude these out. Okay, if I extrude one out, I've got to extrude the other one out. And, and it gets to a point where you really need to add the symmetry modifier. So I'm going to show you that right now. Front view. 
and vertex of object mode. Looking for uh, slice plane first of all, and I'm going to rotate the slice plane to exactly 90 degrees. Click slice, turn off the slice plane. Go to polygon sub object mode. Grab all the stuff on the left side, uh, my screen left. Delete it. Go to edge sub object mode. Grab any edge along the mirror line and invoke symmetry and uh, now if I want to work on the editable poly and see symmetry at the same time I've got to go to editable poly and turn on the show on off result the show end on off result button now I can work on this side that's kind of in an orange cage here and it'll affect this side let me prove it Whoa. okay so I just window it okay window that area see that so if I go to, uh, let me do one more thing, come way down here, I want to turn off that orange cage because I don't like the way it looks. So it's under subdivision surface, show cage, it's off now. Now we'll go to uh, polygon sub object mode. Look at this, extrude that out again, and bevel it out, and uh, keep losing my front view, there we go something like that and you probably have to play with it a little bit um, say ok to that and you may have to go to vertex mode you see how you're working on two sides at once now I'll move this to where the armpit should be and come up underneath and grab where the arm extends out and once again we can extrude that with a bevel too and whoops the bevel so I hit bevel settings and pull that down and I just want that shape to kind of drop off in size where the, where the shoulder stops and the rest of the arm begins and, uh, let's say okay to that and extrude that again sorry extrude with a bevel there and I'm not going to finish this arm for lack of time, but I do want to show one more thing, and that is how do you get the uh, rings and connects to work. So, you know, this is going to be a box man if you don't have more edges. So let's uh, just right click this, hide unselected, right click again, properties, turn off that see through, and let's just change this to a color that's easier to see and I'll grab an edge and now I'll just do a ring grabs all the edges that are uh, aligned with that and uh, I'll do a connect now you can take these connect lines and pull them out a little bit and do it again there's an edge do a ring on it then grab uh, hit your connect button and then just pull it out. So you can start to build the volume and the shape of the character. Of course you don't want to do that until you have the general uh, arms and legs built and then you kind of, I'm just kind of rushing through it.